Welcome back inside the Vidi's Pavilion on campus at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and coverage of Harvard Crimson Madness here on ESPN3 and the Ivy League Digital Network. Ben Alter here, excited to be joined by Dr. Rakesh Kurana, who is the Dean of Harvard College. And uh, Dr. Kurana, you had the uh, honor of being one of the judges of the slam dunk contest here earlier tonight. How, how was that experience for you? Incredibly exciting to just see our students out there, putting it all out there, risking things, uh, trying to uh, energize the crowd and just delivering um, and showing that, you know, you, you, you try a lot of different things and create art out there. Well, you've been the dean of Harvard College for a little more than a year now. And what is the, f the first year plus on the job? What has that experience been like? Well, it's really a privilege to have an opportunity to work with uh, our students. They are the future, and our students um, come from a variety of backgrounds and experiences. Uh, we try to bring them all together and create a community, um, a community that's sort of rooted in difference, a community that's rooted in possibility. Really, rarely we want to make our students' dreams come true, and so really uh, uh, a great opportunity to do that, um, that when the world asks where our future leaders come from, uh, can help us address the important issues in the world. We can answer that question. Our students are the types of people who are going to be those citizens and leaders. Well, and you've seen plenty of leaders on the floor here for Harvard, not just with men's basketball, but Harvard Athletics as a whole really has uh, experienced a lot of success over the last five to ten years. And as dean of Harvard College, how do you see the role of athletics in the grand scheme of the college? Well, the first thing is these are our students. They're student athletes, and um, I think in the spirit of the Ivy League, they're students first. Um, athletics plays a role in helping build uh, spirit in our community, but also in many ways, I think, providing them the kinds of skills that our students get in a variety of different activities. How do you work together as a group? How do you share a common purpose? How do you think about your role in the larger community uh, in terms of bringing it together? And I think all of those factors come together, giving our students not only something that they've spent uh, time here learning at college, but something they can bring out into the world. Well, you talk about the concept or, or the idea of the student athlete, and um, you know, some people will have said that you know, with with big time money coming into college athletics, that you know, at times the the idea, or the the uh, concept of the student athlete has gone away. And do you feel proud that that tradition of the student first carries on here at Harvard and the rest of the Ivy League? I think it's a really important tradition. I think you know, at the end of the day, the purpose of a university, the purpose of a college, is to create knowledge and then help the next generation and transmit that knowledge to that next generation. We can never lose sight of that purpose. It's the most important thing we do. And athletics is there to help complement and, and support that idea. So it makes me incredibly proud to be part of the Ivy League where we really hold up that um, as our model. And to go with that, we've heard uh, head coach Tommy Amaker of this men's basketball team and several other coaches for that matter here at Harvard talk about their role not as coaches but as teachers. They see themselves as teachers and uh, the basketball court or the volleyball court or the football field or the soccer field, whatever their realm happens to be, that as their classroom, uh, is that something you encourage of the coaches here at Harvard? I think we're incredibly fortunate to have our coaches who think of themselves. We're all teachers here. We're all role models. The students are teachers too. Our student athletes are uh, examples to our other students about resilience. Our coaches are really sort of examples to our students. And, and, and our athletes are really lucky to have an adult who's a constant in their life somebody who shares and understands what they're going through, somebody who's there to sort of help them um, uh, figure out what matters to them and develop the kind of skills and character uh, that I think really sort of embodies what the spirit of Harvard stands for. We're here with Dr. Rakesh Kurana, who is the Dean of Harvard College. And that's not your only title here on campus. You're also co-master of Cabot House, one of the houses uh, here on campus. And um, if you could just explain a, a little bit what, what sort of that role entails for you. So, you know, one of the unique aspects of uh, Harvard College is that in order to create a smaller community within our larger community, we have 12 different houses. Each house has a faculty house master and a co-master. Um, and um, it's really an opportunity to bring um, a community together to empower our students to sort of see how they want to contribute to living um, um, together, how their intellectual, their social, and their personal all come together. It's a, it's a pretty unique uh, combination and I think helps us create the type of transformative education that we aspire to. Well, and it, it's an instance where not just you are able to have uh, maybe sort of 
greater contact with the students, but you and your family um, are, are in that area, right? And, and you guys get to interact with the students on a seemingly everyday basis. That's exactly right. We get to live together uh, with our students. It's an intergenerational learning environment. Our students are not only undergraduates together, our graduate students are also living with our students. We have about 20 tutors. Um, and in that kind of context, uh, it's a little bit like Hogwarts. Uh, um, uh, I think uh, Harry Potter's more like us than we were like Harry Potter. <laughs> Now the only question may is, is you know, what what would Cabot House be? Is is that more like Gryffindor, or a little bit more like Ravenclaw? Well, it's a, well, we like to think of ourselves as you know the sort of underdogs. Uh, I think that's part of our goes back to our Radcliffe tradition. Uh, Cabot is where Radcliffe was, and is um, and that's where the women's college was before Harvard admitted women. Uh, since that time, Harvard has uh, merged with Radcliffe. It's always a reminder to us that inclusion, um, the ability of bringing people together, is not a finished project. We should never take that for granted until we make every student feel like they belong here and can flourish. Uh, in your time uh, at Cabot House serving as co-master there, uh, I'm sure you've had the opportunity to uh, work with and have in your residence several student athletes on campus. How do you find that, especially for some of the freshmen, uh, their experience you know, translates? You know, how, how do they adapt to college life, so to speak? Well, I think it's really important to have our uh, students all living together. One of the things about our house system is that the students are randomized. They come in with sort of small blocking groups. And one of the things that I think is really um, proud of about Harvard College is that, you know, our students don't self-select into sort of communities. In, in a lot of colleges, you'll find sort of students in the same sport living together or sh shared interests living together. We bring all of our students together to learn from each other. Our student athletes have a lot to teach um, um, our other students. In particular, um, at a school like ours, you know, our student athletes have a lot of experience in terms of, you know, having a setback, recovering from it, understanding the joy of victory, but also understanding that, you know, when you have a setback, you know, how do you come back together, pull yourself back together? And that's a lesson that's not only just something on the field or on the court, um, it's something that really is a lesson for life. And our student athletes play an incredible role of doing that. Um, in our houses, and uh, you know they play an incredible leadership role, and we're really blessed to have them. Well, it's uh, obviously a fantastic program, and you know a lot of other times you might see you know student athletes tend to maybe focus on you know what their goals are in terms of uh, advancing on the athletic fields uh, and uh, trying to maybe uh, not necessarily trying, but uh, oftentimes end up in isolation. And it's pretty clear that um, with the, the randomization uh, process as you talked about, uh, that's not the case here. I think that's exactly right. And I'm really lucky to have a co-master, my uh, wife Stephanie. She's an athlete. Uh, she, was a, she played sports in high school and college. And you know, she has a particular sense of, in, um, you know, of going out and recognizing the needs you know, because of practices, uh, the way games are scheduled. She's particularly conscious of making sure that um, our student athletes' needs are taken care of and they always feel connected to the house. We try to go to a lot of their games and events, even if we could just go for a few minutes to try to visit as many students as possible over the weekend. And I think that sense of knowing that your community's there, your, your fellow uh, housemates are there, uh, your friends are there, your housemasters are there, the faculty are there, I think that's really what uh, makes it uh, clear to our students that you know we're part of one community and each of us plays a role to bring that community together. Well, and obviously college uh, is talked about as a time where you know students and student athletes especially are encouraged to you know try new things and as you said you know become leaders of the future. Uh, how does that come into effect when you talk about sort of the club and intramural sports uh, atmosphere here at Harvard? Well, we're really fortunate here that you know physical activity and in particular you know competitive physical activity is something that is not just limited to varsity sports here. Uh, we have, an, uh, not in addition to you know the um, uh, large number of students who, who participate in our uh, variety of our uh, athletic sports at the varsity level, we have a strong club sports system in which uh, uh, large numbers of students uh, participate in. And one of the things, um, going back to the house system, it really is a little bit like Hogwarts. We all play for something called the Strauss Cup. Uh, or the Stone family play for crew, uh, in which the houses compete with each other. And these are made up of uh, students uh, who live in the houses who are not varsity athletes and compete with each other um, in sports uh, across a wide range from volleyball to basketball uh, to track and running. So we're really lucky to, to have that. And, and we think that you know physical well-being goes along with uh, intellectual well-being and social well-being. Oh, Dr. Rakesh Karan, thank you very much for joining us. The Dean of Harvard College will continue here on ESPN3 and the Ivy League Digital Network after this. Thanks for having me.